Okay guys, so roosters are roosting away and I've just left my little paradise hotel there and I am on Mr. Tim K's bike and I'm heading into the town here to see what we can find. I have no idea, but we're, we'll see what we can get up to. Now what you'll see in this little community here is quite interesting. You see these little homes here. Some of them have little shops, little stores outside. I hope, I hope you're not getting a lot of wind noise here, but we'll stop in a bit and uh, I'll chat with you guys about what's going on here. But these are, you know, old little provincial houses. You can see a lot of people still plant their own gardens here. And we're on a really small island here. Um, it's one of about six, 7,000 islands here in the Philippines. You can see they got some baby goats over there, little guys. And a really interesting look here at island life. Nothing like slamming a big TV tower in your backyard, but hey, shit happens. Anyway, we're gonna explore it around. We're gonna drive around here and we'll see what we can get up to. I really don't have an agenda today. I think I gotta buy a ferry ticket and that's what I'm gonna try to buy. And um, I'm gonna explore this little cool village in uh, Padre Burgos and see what we can get up to here. All I'm seeing is gardens, but uh, I'm sure we'll come up and find something very cool in a moment. Now I heard this scooter I'm on has managed to avoid pretty much every dog on the island here, but the dogs pretty much own the roads here. Hey guy, how's it going? So now I've just discovered what my journey was. <laughs> I have a drone in my backpack here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just in my backpack there. And I want to find a, another nice piece of land or maybe even a beach that we can film. So the goal is to find a nice San Miguel light. That's our first goal. Second one, a beautiful piece of property. And third, to film this piece of property from the air. Uh, it's nice and sunny out right now, so we should be able to do it. Just hang on. And uh, gotta, you gotta be very alert here when you're driving. So. Anyway, we're gonna film some stuff and uh, I'll come back to you. Guys, so I've actually found an interesting uh, little place that I can actually park the bike and look at um, maybe getting the drone off the ground. A couple things I wanna show you guys. And this is something that I always used to see uh, in Thailand, but they're slowly clearing it away. You'll see the wiring on the poles here. I mean, a lot of this wiring, some of it's wiring in the internet somebody's house I mean some of them are power electricity poles so you see the lines are running down here some are running across the street you see how low-lying these are and whenever you see some of these videos um, you know let's say some of the videos on earthquakes or um, some of the other videos uh, just wanting to check my I've got a hat on and a helmet on and there's a reason for it <laughs> so um, when you're seeing some of these aftermaths, some of these tsunamis or um, these uh, earthquakes, you see a lot of banged up uh, poles and wires. Well, these are countries that, you know, slowly evolve when it comes to electricity and stuff like that. I guess they're honking horns to let, politely let people know they're on the road. Anyway, I'm babbling on here. But what I was trying to say is, some of the infrastructure here is not uh, up to, we'll say, Western standards. And um, in time, as the countries develop, they eventually either A, bury the cables under the wire, or under the roads, uh, the internet, they might go to fiber. I mean, so, you know, sometimes uh, you have to accept it that that's the way things go in these countries. And uh, you, you could just see by all the wires uh, above me that's kind of what they're all for um, now I'm going to show you one of the most uh, common ways to get around this island and these are called trikes so here's an example you see at the front there he's got uh, it's like a traditional motorcycle 
And then on the top there, that's usually for people when they're buying groceries. They, they kind of put it up on the top thing here. They're all kind of uh, named different names. This one looks better for a little bit, uh, had better days. I think it's kind of done there. And then you'll see there's the motorcycle and then the, uh, the back where you can sit. You can get two or three people on here, somebody in the front seat there. And you know, it covers you from the rain and if you're going to the grocery store, uh, you know, it's, it's quite easy to do that. So I'm gonna try to get down to the beach here. I don't know how I can do that. Looks like there's a whole Filipino family down there. I'm not sure if they want me down there, but let's go check it out. Let's go have a look. See what we, so we'll see what we find here. Is the beach that way? It's the beach? Yeah. How are you? <laughs> good, good, all right. Wow, they kind of got it fortified off here. Wow, we got a whole Filipino family down there. Um, don't know if I want to walk in on them. Just wondering if we should take the drone up here. I think I'm on somebody's land, is what I think I'm on, but we're gonna go see what's happening. This is a really nice thing that I like about Southeast Asia, is you get a lot of the families that come down here and they just, they really use the land. They have a nice little barbecue. Uh, you can see a lot of the people, I won't, uh, I won't show them, but, oh look at that little dog. You can see the whole family behind me here. They're having a little party. What do we got here, little guy here? Come here, little guy, come here. This guy, I want to take this guy home with me. Where's mom, huh? There goes mom, yeah. So he's going after mom there. Wow, another little gem here out in uh, Southern Leyte. And look at all the kids there. I'm just wondering if I can get the drone off the ground and maybe film the, uh, the kids. Uh, it's, not the, it's not the best place to to launch a drone, but I think I'm skilled enough that I could probably lift it off down here uh, without a problem. Yeah, let's try it here. Could probably fly it over the kids and the the family, and everybody'd have a good time. Yeah, let's see. Let's get try to get this thing up in the air. So once again, this is how it is on a you know a, a, we'll call it a middle populated island here. It's, it's quite nice. Uh, you got a couple of the fisher, fishermen boats out there. The water is beautiful, clean, crystal clean. And uh, the families are just enjoying their day. I mean, sometimes we can learn a lot in the West from this. So, just setting up this drone now. It's gonna take me a couple minutes. And uh, the next time I'll be talking to you, this thing is gonna be in the air. So guys, uh, just wanted to let you guys know I was having a bit of fun on the drone here, right there, and the kids were in the water, and the parents <laughs> were kind of telling them not to throw stones at the drone. But anyway, it's really nice footage. It's great to see the family out and the kids out in the water having a good time. when you got curious people out watching stuff they kind of want to know where it is so I'm gonna give them just my channel so that they can find it and uh, they will know where the the drone footage is I'm just gonna walk up and just give this to the guy and just let him know that he can see him and his kids and family on the drone footage on YouTube 
at a time. So, hey little man, how are you? Hello. If you want to see the footage from the drone, it's on my uh, YouTube channel later, okay? Yay. All right. Are those all your kids? Yeah, thank you, thank you. No school this week? No. Holiday? Ah, uh, yeah? Break for the parents? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, cute dogs. Huh? Are these your dogs too? Oh, beautiful little dogs, huh? Oh. Okay, have a nice day. See you later. So yeah, they're quite happy. They, that's, they know where they can find the video now and they can all watch what they did on their holidays. See you later, guys. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, very nice community. The Philippines are fantastic people. And the good thing about it is I've said it a few times in the videos. When I get lost, I can ask directions. And you're probably saying, of course you can ask directions. Well, this is one country in Southeast Asia that pretty much everybody speaks English. And that's really helpful. So it's just a few kilometers outside of my um, hotel. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I've been kind of seeing on the road here. Uh, you'd see probably a dog every 60 meters and um, roosters probably every 20 meters. And uh, I think I, that's a rooster. And uh, I think I found a uh, little roadside bar where I can get a San Miguel light. And I'm gonna try to get a shot of the um, beautiful, you know, huge forests of palm trees here. And uh, hopefully I'm just watching myself for the traffic here. So a huge, uh, huge uh, forest of um, palm trees. So it's been quite amazing. I'm gonna see if I can find a pub where I can get Get a, get a beer. I saw a couple of guys up here, just tr straight ahead up here, drinking a beer at the side of the road. I don't know what they're doing, but anyway, you see in front of me, that's the uh, that's the trikes picking up people, dropping off supplies and boxes, and uh, that's that's pretty normal here. Actually, no, that's a that's a jeepney. That's what we call a jeepney. Hello. So that's called a jeepney behind me. Uh, that's a little bit bigger than that. I'm gonna ask these guys where they're getting their beer. Where are you guys getting your beer? Huh? Where do you get your beer from? My house. Why? <laughs> I need one. Just drink one, yeah. I'll, I'll buy the round. I'll buy the round. Okay, a couple of guys are gonna uh, invite me in for a beer, so I'll be back with you. Whew, what an emotional day today, guys. I'm just back at the hotel, and it's about 10.30. Said goodbye to um, Tim K. Um, I would like to give you a brief about what happened today with Tim. So, Tim met uh, Chrissy and Hannah and they had a nice dinner at the hotel and Tim lent me his scooter and that was nice of him because he didn't want me to pay a bunch of money to rent one at the hotel here and um, what uh, happened after that was quite interesting. I drove along uh, the resort roads and found a really nice beach with a bunch of Filipino families out there enjoying themselves and I filmed some great drone footage. I was really happen, happy about that. So on the way back, um, I was driving along and I saw two older gentlemen sitting by the side of the road on chairs and a table and I thought it kind of looked like a bar, like an outdoor patio bar. And uh, it just happened to be two older veterans. And these were war veterans. Uh, one was from Vietnam and I can't remember where the, where the other gentleman was doing, but uh, John was one of the guy's names and the other guy's name was, uh, it was, Boy, I better remember it. It's Tommy. Yeah, John and Tommy. And I phoned Tim and said, Tim, I met a couple of guys. I'm having a couple of beers. Why don't you swing by? So Tim came out with Hannah and Chrissy, and it was nice to see them, but they went quickly home. And Tim stayed with me. And um, I got to tell you, it was quite emotional uh, for Tim to find some other veterans here on uh, the island in Leyte. It was extremely emotional, and um, I have never kind of experienced that kind of bond um, with older gentlemen 
before in my life and it meant a lot to Tim. You could tell just by him knowing that there's a couple of really good guys here on the island. If you've watched Tim's video of him talking about he needs a couple of guys to talk to. Well, um, it just so happens that I managed to find these guys for him and I'm happy that that happened because I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm leaving Tim with some really, really cool guys. And these are exactly the type of guys he needs to meet where he's at. Because this is a very small island here in um, the Philippines. I don't mean land-wise, but I mean just community-wise. Uh, it's quite a small kind of, I'm not going to say it's a network, but it's a kind of a small community. If you're Filipino, you'll fit right in, no problem. But, you know, as a veteran uh, from the U.S. Army, you know, you got to understand what some of these guys have gone through. And I really feel... Uh, happy for Tim and I'm proud of myself too to actually find some really really good guys there were a lot of hugs and a lot of pats on the back and very emotional for those two gentlemen and Tim all three of them I just kind of sat back in awe to see it and I gotta say to you guys it's been quite a nice time to come here and visit Tim Chrissy Hannah and some of the other locals so I'm signing off now. I'm going to have sleep and I'm heading back to Cebu tomorrow and then eventually on to Thailand. But just wanted to say I left him in good hands and he's a great guy. And uh, next time I come back, maybe the sun will be born. All right. So over and out. Cheers, guys.